The Captivity of Israel, Part 12, The Prophet and Book of Tobit. The Prophet and the Book of Tobit. The Book of the Words of Tobit, the Son of Tobiel, the Son of Anael, the Son of Aduel, the Son of Gabael, of the seed of Asael, of the tribe of Naphtali of the tribe of Naphtali. Tobit is from the tribe or the family of Naphtali. Therefore, he is one of the sons of Israel. He continues writing that at the time of Amenezar, king of the Assyrians, he and his family were led captive out of Thisbe, which is at the right hand of that city, which is called properly Naphtali in Galilee, above Aser or Asher. Emenezer is the same as Shalmanezer, king of Assyria, which we've read in the book of Kings. In fact, Kings, 2 Kings 17, says against him came up Shalmanezer, king of Assyria, and Hosea became his servant and gave him presents. Tobit continues saying, I, Tobit, have walked all the days of my life in the ways of truth and justice, and I did many alms deeds to my brethren and my nation who came with me to Nineveh into the land of the Assyrian. And when I was in my own country, in the land of Israel, being but young, all the tribe of Naphtali, my father, fell from the house of Jerusalem, which was chosen out of all the tribes of Israel that all the tribes should sacrifice there where the temple of the habitation of the Most High was consecrated and built for all ages. Not all the tribes which together revolted and the houses of my father Naphtali sacrificed the heifer to the heifer Baal. So Tobit is basically telling us the story of Jeroboam making the ten tribes revolt against Judah and Jerusalem, the house of David, and he placed them to serve Baal when he removed all the Levite priests from their duties. Tobit is making reference to 1 Kings chapter 12, 25 through 30. You can read it on your own time. So this is a super woe and wow uh, because you have a prophet in a book called the Apocrypha revealing exactly what took place and how his family responded to it because we typically would think every one of the 10 tribes that broke away from the house of Judah during the days blindly followed Jeroboam with the two calves. However, many like Tobit were very much aware of what Jer Jeroboam did and what it meant to them as far as worship towards the God of Israel. However, at the time of his writing, speaking of Tobit, he was in the land of Assyria and is from the tribe of Naphtali. That is the crucial point that he received visions or he wrote his writings while he was in captivity. This means his revelations and his writings occurred or took place while he was in captivity.